All right, welcome. Today is Tuesday, June 13th. It is 9 p.m. Eastern, episode 324 of The Sundering. Our episode is brought to you by ads that are on our site. Amazon, New Egg, Jinx, Busted Tees, and Groupon. You click through the link, add stuff to your cart, check out. We take some from the companies, not from you. And we help pay server costs from that. And it's really cool because you're going to shop there anyway. Especially Jinx, they got a whole bunch of cool new like Overwatch stuff coming out, so you probably want to gear up. Um, and if you like us, what you hear, drop us a review on iTunes. We'll appreciate that. And what do we got deck for you now? Well, we're going to talk about E3. Well, I'm going to talk about E3, and Ray's going to react. That's uh, we're going to have a reaction-based show tonight. That's how we're going to mostly roll. mostly because I didn't uh, I didn't realize E3 was going on really. <laughs> I mean, I did, but I'll talk. I guess I'll talk. About why All right. once we talk about stuff. Well, and we got a metric, shit ton of other news as well. We welcome to the Sun Room. We're gonna be covering a lot of stuff tonight, and there's a very real chance that your nervous system might literally melt. Don't worry though, the black market has a nice healthy supply on the dark web. Huh? We're gonna use the term dark web. Seraphis doesn't like no. pig nerves. I don't like pig nerves. You gotta take those out before you cook the bacon. The Sundering is an explicit podcast, which may not be suitable for children, people with delicate sensibilities, animals under 10 pounds, certain towns in Idaho, citizens of Liechtenstein, members of the clergy, fans of the show Cop Rock, and vegans. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Well, let's start the insanity. This is The Sundering Podcast with your host, Seraphis. Self-replicating bacon. If I don't like fat chicks cutting my hair because we wouldn't want it to get weird or anything. Rapist. He adds to the show and everyone gets upset. It's great. I know. I, I know they say this, but I don't care. <laughs> and Zia. Hi, Slurp. I'm so full of hate. I'm not sure what a podcast is. Slavery is different than a fish. Oh, look. <laughs> look, look. Look who decided to join us. No, no. Zia oh, come funny. lately. Zia come, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I, I am. Well, welcome. I am Seraphis. I'm joined by my co-host Ray. And look, hi. look, we were in the intro, and, and Zia is here. Oh, by the way, I'm uh -huh. drinking. I'm drinking Corona tonight, with a there lime. I put a lime in there. That's yeah. Lime. Well. Um. <laughs> all right. So. Well, we just got a lot of things to go over. So, Ray, we're going to start with you. Yeah. We, we've been absent for two weeks, so. Yeah. Um, Sup with you. glorious. There's Sup so with much, you. There's so much stuff that I didn't pay attention to about E3 and all this other stuff. But the one thing I was concerned about is that since we didn't have a show last week, I didn't have a new poster to put up. So I was trying to go through, and I was like, you know what? I can have two posters this week. Okay, so, so posters. One of them is from the apartment from the uh, apartment back in the day, me and Dan. And it's a uh, decent episode two uh, poster, like in, mm. in, in shape. I was surprised it was, uh, it only has like tack holes in them. I think I, uh, I think I got that one for Christmas. Well, I got all the Star Wars movie posters for Christmas. This year. You don't want that one. I want to Photoshop your, like yours and Dan's faces. <laughs> He'll hate you for that. Oh, hate you for that. I, I want I want Dan to be Padme. Yeah. And this one was Ray from the apartment. Taller. Because, this one was from the apartment because I didn't. Uh, it's not mine. I just have it now. It's just a shack poster. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Hotter than Bond. What's at the uh, top? Hotter than Bond. Cooler than Bullet. Nice. I didn't know who Bullet was. I only I only actually don't even. I still don't know. So if you're cooler that's than okay. Bullet, that's awesome. Talk shit about Zia because she can't hear us. Oh, uh, what's up? I had to fix my hair. <laughs> it was like, what? Nothing. Did you say something nasty right as I took my headphones off? You big old bitch. Fuck off. That's right. It's called timing. You need it sometimes. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Look at all. The There's so much. St Why? What is this news? It's it's, exact it's exactly what it is. Because we had E3 news. happen. Yes, we had news. And I just Everyone read one thing. Like and I... <sighs> Okay. Move along. So, so uh, Look, when you show up eight minutes late, you don't get the comment about what's in the show notes. That's the true, reason, actually. 
the reason that I didn't didn't really know what E3 was going. Well, I guess the reason I found out that E3 was going on was that Funhouse did a drunk stream for it, and I just kept on seeing that they were going to do it at some point, and I just don't care about E3, so <laughs> just like whatever. And then uh, they they do this show called Talking Stockings. Whenever they do a drunk, <laughs> they do a drunk. Like thing, well, like I've, like stalking or just, stockings. Stock. Because there's a big difference between a stocking and a stalking. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like looking at this, I'm thinking of the spelling in my head. It's stalking, like... Like a stocking as in like hung by a chimney with care, or a stalking as in like I'm oh watching god. you get Did undressed outside your window. Just ask me, yeah, the second one. Okay. Listen, I have a hard time saying words sometimes, so I can understand why you would say that. You said Anyways. stalking, and he was like stalking. Yeah, I know. Stalking, I just I stalking. I'm well, not good at the, just said it's saying the difference. It's but fine. Anyways. He gives me shit well, for the I'll way I said you. naked. So. He just I'll said it was stalking. Like, in you're listen, stalking listen, somebody. Listen, anyways, so uh, they do, they do this show called Talking Stockings. Okay, stockings. Oh, 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 L. Okay. There's an L. Okay. There's an L. Just like you're about to take this L, sir. What's yeah. that, what does that even mean? Like an L, like a loss, a, a one at, at at the end of your record as opposed yeah. to a zero. I, yeah, that's right. Anyways, um, just so they they do this show called Talking Stockings, and it's really like it's only when they do it. They do it only when with they're an drunk. L. It's only when they're drunk, and it, they they watch an episode of the show Silk Stockings <laughs> from like I don't know whatever it was like. But isn't that with a O? No, because it's because it's like a, it's called a silk stocking. So okay. I can't say it, dude. <laughs> oh my god, like you're you're making like I can't even talk now because every time you're just gonna be like, well, what did you say? Did you say talk or did you say took? Like somebody took something, or did you say rook? Like something in a chess game. Like what did you say, Sarah? What did you just say? I don't know what I just said. I'm. <laughs> Ugh, you ruined my story. Anyways, they did an episode of that, and I was really excited. And I was like, oh, yeah, they're doing the drunk live stream. So that's how I found out about it, because they did an episode of that. It was it was fantastic. They had a guy that impersonated, uh, what's-his-face, Jack Sparrow there. Michael Bolton? <laughs> no. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Depp! That's a great song, though. Wait, who did you just say is dead? He said... Johnny, Johnny Depp. Oh, Johnny Depp! Oh, yeah. like you said impersonated. All I could think of was Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, but that was a song. Wait, yeah, that's anyway, an actual sorry. song? Great song. Um, yeah, you know, the Michael Bolton song. Yeah, he doesn't know. Oh, Sarah doesn't gosh. pay attention. If well, no, a, no, you gave me a good idea a, for, like, some If it's some not a parody stuff. song about WoW, he doesn't know about it. John, Basically. Okay. Well, he's not even paying attention right now. He's just drunk, no, he's no, not. I'm just going to write right down and talk while I'm doing it. I'm, look, so like look, I'm writing on the page where, where Zia drew Penis Man. I'm writing yeah. notes. Well, I'm sorry, Scrote Man. It was Scrote Man, not Penis Man. Scrote Man. Get it right. He's got, so, uh, he's got an S on his chest. Or his I'm sorry that you shaft. can't speak, Ray. It's okay. I, I, I know this is a problem for me. Um, no, because of him, not because you can. That Also that. I was writing. I was being quiet. See, I was thinking about saying both right there, but then I was like, both or both? Like, people say it two different ways, Sarah. What are you going to do about that? You going to get mad? You going to get angry? I'm you coming out of the booth. I'm just delaying the inevitable E3 stuff I'm going to have nothing <laughs> to say about, so I'm going to get angry about exclusive content. That's probably about it. Uh, Rust. Rust. Some guy... Uh, said I could trust him, and then I shouldn't have. <laughs> was it another racist? No, no, no. Also, oh god, there's an intervention going on in Russ. What? This the, the guy that freaked out and was like saying racist things. There, everyone was like, "Dude, you're 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 taking this game way too seriously." And he then they then he started freaking out even more, and then like just melted down. And I joined. In the middle of like the come down, where he's just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do in my life, man. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just like, you know what? I need to leave this fucking server. So I did. <laughs> I just fucking left. I'm like, you know what? There's a guy that had a meltdown because of this game. I don't want to be on the server anymore. I'm just, I'm like, I'm gonna go on a smaller one and learn the game better. So I did. 
So, does the new server still wipe, like, every two weeks? <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I had a feeling you were going to ask about that. Yeah. I just want to know. I'm curious. I'm like, is it, like, a buy server? Like, whoever owns the server, like... Yeah. Okay. It's definitely a buy server. Oh, so, like... Wait. <laughs> I don't know. So, all servers wipe every two weeks. I don't know. I honestly... I, dude... Yeah. I've been I've joined like six or seven servers in the years I've played Rust. I don't know how long it's been Wait, out, but it's been out for years and still like in like beta. I don't I don't, I don't know. I, dude, t- time is time is weird now. It all blends together. <laughs> I see what you did the, there. It's, it's because of the fucking tower. Okay. Oh, the tower. Oh, I've decided, Ray, that the person. Remember how I was? Oh, I guess I could say it because Sarah's at that point in the book now. Uh, he's, in the series now. He finished book two, right? Yeah, You're in book two. So you've met Susanna? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I don't think... I am bummed. Spoilers ahead for anybody who might be considering reading Dark Tower. Um, also, it has nothing to do with the movie. Uh, well, quite- no, and you know what? It's not, because this is... Everything I'm about to say is racist sounding. So uh, my apologies. <laughs> but Idris Elba is playing... I'm saying his name right, I believe. Yes. He is playing just Elba? Roland. Yes, he's playing Roland. And I was thinking to myself, <laughs> the whole time Susanna is Detta and is like very racially. I mean, she's yes. calling them honkies every five minutes. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Honk there's mofos. no way. Honk yes. mofos. Yep, that's your thing. And I'm like, well, this is already going to be a problem because her whole character is like part of her character's background is built on like that time frame in American history and and like it's not going to work. It was like I don't know why it took that to realize that Suzanne is going to be not in the movie, not the fact that like they haven't shown anybody other than <laughs> Fucking... So wait a minute, the movie that's coming out, it it's books one and two? No, no. dude, it's not... Dude, don't, don't even think of it as a book. I'm so confused. Don't even no, think of it as a book, I'm serious. Like, I... it's what it, it, it's just this thing. It's this thing that happens and yeah. I am... ha- loosely has things, probably. Yeah, I am lamenting the fact that Susanna and Eddie are not going to be in the movie. I mean, like, they're, they're not gonna be, because... Like they would have introduced them, and they wouldn't be in New York. Like they wouldn't be in New York. New York doesn't happen without Eddie and Susanna and Jake. But yet he's in New York with Jake. So do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, they're it's... they're just pulling pieces from the different books, which is why Ray, you're gonna go and screen it before Dave and I see it. Oh yeah. So that screen the it. end up because I I wonder if they are gonna just be. Able like, oh, and this is how the series ends. So we'll when just make that the ending. Mo- no, I don't think they will. When does it even come out? August something. I'm looking at I it really want to see it. Um, I really want to see it, but. Uh, so I, you know what, the, you know what sucks? And I read, a, one of the reviews I read about this, like this book is that there's a hangover afterwards. Cause you're just like, fuck, that was a good series. Like, it, it like I haven't read a, book since <laughs> really if that makes sense because yeah, i was just like damn it this is good why can't anything just say this is going to be the release date why why does everything have to be so hard because you don't know how to look august I, 4th see i told you it was august something august 4th okay so yeah it's good it's good stuff um it's just not i gonna, just don't I mean yeah I mean, I get, again, if you guys, like, without, no. <laughs> without finishing the series, I probably couldn't explain to what I've, like, heard it explained as to make sense. <laughs> That's all. all. All I know is I got to the part where there's a cyborg bear. Oh, yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, you're going to be, um... Oh, yeah, yeah. You haven't got to that part that made me want to just, like, flip out. Okay. There's a part in that book that's really crazy. It's after the bear. Okay. I, th- I think I have it's enough. It's like a big bear, man. I think I have enough credits to give 
Sarah and I have free books. So we'll I think it's so funny yeah. that you're giving him free. Where are you finding them, by the way? Because Auto- I've been. Uh, it's on he, Audible. He I've shares been doing them Audible for a, I've doing. I've been doing Audible for a while, and then I just realized that you can gift things, and I was like, "Well, I'm already finished," and I just didn't know. What the hell? I actually looked to see if I could find one of those books on Audible, and I had trouble. So should, should be so on there. I, yeah. need to, I need to look again. I need to look again. I missed it. You're looking for books in all the wrong places. I am. I am. I we have just derailed the hell out of this, by the way. Sorry. Whatever. Ray. Whatever. Listen, we need. Listen. <laughs> every week we need to at least connect a little bit before we can go into the nonsense that we do. So look, book as I was telling Ray in the pre-show, book two. What the fuck. <laughs> Wasn't it great? It is ridiculous. I don't, I don't know it? if it was great. Like I was more of like, what the fuck did I just read? I, I, I have never read a book quite like that one. It it was just ridiculous. It I, was ridiculous. And trying to describe it to somebody who hasn't read it, it sounds... Forget about it. Ridiculous. Well, you don't. can't. Yeah, you can't. It's like, oh, yeah, you just can't. I'm not even going to attempt it. Like, I tried to explain just... see when I Okay, so for some reason, our store has, like, the number 19s on a lot of stuff, a lot of our products... And I tried explaining why that I find that funny. <laughs> just like because the number nineteen has a big like thing thing in the book, and they're just like, why? Like why? Why are you just like ah? I'm just like <laughs> because you don't know, you don't know, you don't know what's up. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw this out there for all of our listeners that by the yeah. time uh, Z and I finish all the Dark Tower books, we're gonna have like an entire episode where like we just are gonna just talk about it probably yeah so so well so for any of you who are, are interested in in the dark tower series like might as well get started now because it's eventually going to happen i can't say how long it's going to take me to finish it but i'm doing the audiobook stuff oh and you're gonna to pass it. me most likely because the the books aren't i mean they're huge they like, must be they're Huge. <laughs> well, well, book three, like the audio is eighteen hours. I'm like, oh my god, all right, Hold Jesus. On. Quick, talk about uh, it. Uh, 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 uh. No, what I was gonna say is that, like, if you're somebody that like is finds himself bored a lot but can <laughs> listen to something, you should definitely do this because I literally walked around my house with my like, with my Bose, all, with my Bose never... speaker, which is not a sponsor, but I just, <laughs> love, I love this thing. It's great. Never buy a mass market paperback book when given the option. Never, because you get this. You get this fucking brick. And for people who are listening to the audio uh, only version of this, I mean, this sucker is. God, I don't even know how to describe how thick it is. It's a thousand. Yes, it's a thousand pages. Wizard and Glass is a thousand pages long. Ooh, you're oh, in that. I think it does book Ooh. four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah. that. Also, they're making a. a t- which, which also. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I, I have, I actually have foffs that you need to remind me of. Okay. Should I write them? Get I there. I, I you should probably them write them down. Yeah, not, don't forget them. At, I'm not good at writing. I'm definitely good so, at getting. So, Ray, is there anything there else you want to talk about? about? Yeah, if I do it, if I have anything to say, I'll say it regardless of when I need to say it or not. All right, so Zia, what about you? What have you been up to the past two weeks? Oh my goodness. Uh, wow, well, let's see. I've, um, I don't think I've talked about it on the show. I, I was poking Sarah about this because he's kind of come visit me like i can say that right you're mm-hmm. coming to visit me in july and um i ha- have been telling him that he has to go with me to uh do bouldering so it's like rock climbing but you don't have any gear and um it's like really addicting and hard <laughs> so i've been kind of like picking that up and enjoying it um and yeah so we're gonna do that and hey you're coming to visit me. I'm totally stoked about it. And let's see what else. Playing Witcher 3. Still. Still. We've decided that we need to get done with it because uh, Final Fantasy 12's remake is going to be coming out in July? You looked it up, right? It's July. I think so. But, so, and we're going to want to play that. <laughs> what? I'm getting, I'm just going to save it for the E3 stuff, but I'll. Like, I got a fop now. Hold on. I got. You just reminded me of a fop. I'm just shaking my head at Final Fantasy in general because I never played them. So. You know, you know this though. Don't, don't act like you're surprised. <laughs> oh, 
Seven Eleven. Ooh, so oh, we'll probably be, yeah, we'll so probably you get a free Slurpee that day. We'll probably be trying to play it while you're here. Okay, that sounds Sorry. awesome. Maybe. Oh wait, you didn't like Twelve? I never played Twelve. That's right. You haven't played a lot of them, have you? I played seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, ten, two. I started playing eleven. Got to level eight. Died. Got bumped down to level seven. Quit. Never played quit another Final Fantasy game. Immediately. That sounds yeah. about right. Twelve's actually really good. Uh, its story is a little bit strange, but uh, it's a really. It's like one of the first. Like well. I'm trying to think of a, of a short way I can describe it since we keep going off on tangents. Sorry. Um, it's big. It's just a really big game. Mm. And it feels like you're playing an MMO, the way the worlds are laid out. Like, you just go out into the field and there's it's just creatures wandering around and you you kind of fight as if you're in an MMO. Just MMO. So anyway, yeah. Ooh, anything else interesting that I can update you guys on? Not really. Not really. I got in some stuff for Con Before the Storm that I ordered accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you know, great. Um, oh, wait, are we going to talk about Con Before the Storm later? We are. I can save it. Yep. Oh, my God. So much news. Okay, that's it. I, don't, I really don't have anything else. All right. So, in the past two weeks, our guild got everyone the ahead of the curve thing for Heroic Gold Dan. So, very excited about that. Um, and this week we're actually taking a break from raiding since everyone's got the achievement and we're all kind of just sick of killing Goldan and his stupid green ass. Uh, so we're, yeah, this week we're kind of just off. We're still playing, but we're just taking off from raiding this week. So that's kind of nice. I've been playing a ton of heroes while they are doing the, uh, play one game and get a loot box type deal. Uh, over the past week, so I've been doing that, and um, took the kids to go see Wonder Woman. Liked it. Thought oh it was yeah, I awesome. forgot to mention. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Look, hey, look, DC actually did something right. But look, they had to get like Brian Singer out of the whole fucking mess, and then finally, they did something right. Yeah. Not, you liked it. You really liked it. I actually did like enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I thought it was good. Okay. That's good. You didn't like it. No, I'm in the minority. I know. Wow. I know. Even my husband was like, "Uh, let me make it clear though. I like Gail Gad Gadot. Gail Gadot. Gadot. Yeah, Gadot. Gadot. I can't remember. I think she pronounces think the it's... T at the end of it. Oh, Darcy. I think she does. I I was watching an interview with her. Yeah, like she's my new favorite person. She's amazing. I really liked her. I just didn't like the storyline. That's all. Hmm. But. But, but, like, it's not bad. It's just, it didn't appeal to me for whatever reason. And um, I, I went into it with low expectations because it was a DC movie and I just figured yeah. it was all going to be complete shit. And uh, yeah. I was pleasantly surprised with it and how oh, they yeah, did it. Oh, yeah, it's not complete shit. Oh, by no means. I just, I, uh, I don't know. I, I still feel like Marvel gets it right. You know, like, I don't know. I just, they get it right compared to DC. But... I like her. She's fucking awesome, dude. That was good. Um, Did your kids like it? I'm sure Taylor yes. liked it. Uh, Taylor, Taylor my, my, my daughter enjoyed it. My son enjoyed it. Um, my son she ran was, out of there like wanting to, to just kick she, butt. She just had a ton of energy that whole day. And then my son it was really excited for seeing The Flash in the Justice League. Uh trailer before it you missed the trailer there was a justice league trailer we should so, have late so my son <laughs> is, was is really excited about flash um cool um i'm interested to see if that guy does a good flash let's see that is it i think i mean i've done a lot of stuff for come for the storm over the past like couple weeks but we could talk about that, well, literally now. And now I want to hear some bullshit that happened somewhere. All right, come for the storm. What do you got, Zia? What do I have? Um, nothing compared to you. <laughs> 
I kind of feel like it's been your, the ball's really been in your court. I'm not going to have a whole lot to do um, for another couple days until funds are officially through from the Kickstarter, and that's when I kick things into gear with uh, ordering um, all the Kickstarter goodies, uh, all the buttons, the art, the, um, the like the 8x10 art, um, just everything, <laughs> the shirts, all of it. Um, Sarah has been a busy little bee on the art. Which is uh, which is a play on words because I'm actually a uh, Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket, and some people confuse that with bees. But that's a whole other story. Like the play yeah. on words, that was nice. Not a bee. Not uh, a bee. Not a bee. Yellow Jacket, but close. Somewhat same family. Uh, yeah, I. Um, so I remember at the end of last year having a drink with with Zia uh, out by the food trucks, and her just saying, "She's like, God, I hate doing the art." Just contacting all the artists. It's such a pain. It's such a hassle. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay. And so almost immediately after we left, I started finding art. And I created this like huge spreadsheet. And God bless Zia for taking everything that I created and mashing it with everything that we had before. And you didn't uh, know. You didn't know. You were just like, I'm going to fucking work on which is fantastic. I was happy to do it. So then... Um, I just started contacting artists and I think that there were over, over close to 200, 250 artists that I think I, I contacted. I think I've left a few for you because they're unique cases. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so right now I'm actually kind of excited to say that we have 97 unique new pieces of art. Yeah, we do have new pieces. You're right. 97 new pieces. Yep. Um, for this year's art gallery. So, and we're gonna repeat some from last year. Some yeah. really cool ones. Uh, we just we really like them. We want to see them again, so we're gonna hang them up again. But um, so yeah. So yeah. Um, once we get the Kickstarter funds, like one of the things that a lot of people a lot of people got was like the Art Lover and, and Hire, which gave you like early access to digital art galleries. So we are going to be getting that up and going fairly soon now, since we have so much art that we could actually kind of show off. So we'll be getting already. Yeah. So we'll be getting that going. Uh, so that's that's fairly exciting. So once we get funds in, a lot of the stuff we're like she said is going to get kicked into high gear. And, yeah. But uh, but yeah. So I'm 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 actually pretty jet. There are some pieces I, for the Dude. art this year that are just killer. I, They're really really good, and it's hard because so like this year we're doing things a little bit differently. I with in terms of how the uh, online gallery is going to be viewed we're going to make it a lot more um private a lot of the artists want to want to not have their stuff in a very public setting digitally until the day of the event so we have to go through and make sure there's watermarks on all of the images um you know only the people who back the project are going to be able to see it and it's, it's going to be a little bit more i don't i don't really, like inclusive i guess exclusive What's the right word there? You all know what I mean. Yeah. Um, no, I know. Yeah, Ray's just uh, nodding his head, like, yeah, whatever she said. So, said. so Ray, <laughs> Ray, I went out of my way Exclusive. to make sure. Ray, I made. I went out of my way to make sure that we have some amazing Zenyatta pieces this yeah, year. Yeah, Ray. I, I won't be able to see. <laughs> well, I know. I was like, oh, I really want to get a piece to you, but it's hard. But yeah. No, we, I know. I know. I I I always say. Really it, good that, that'd be one. That'd be, that'd be wonderful, but I don't ever expect anything because I. Don't put anything toward this. So it's like yep. we know. Yep. <laughs> we, but we got, like, it's, it's like almost an unspoken understanding at this point. Yes, it is. We got it some is. really, really awesome like Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm. It's not just like all Warcraft related. Yeah, um, you know what? Last year suffered from just having a lot of Overwatch art, and a lot of that was because when uh, we were reaching out to people, the people who had Overwatch art were the ones getting back to us. <laughs> so that's how we ended up with so much of it. This year, I can say already that the, it's a lot more evenly distributed, I think, throughout the games, which is something I'm really happy to see. Um, uh, there yeah. are, and there's there's definitely some Arthas stuff out there for all you Arthas fans. I made sure to go out and find some of that. I felt like we did not have enough Arthas, so Arthas is represented this year. Talking to Amir, Seraph, because that's the only Arthas fan. You're the only one I've ever met. 
Well, Everybody, everybody's on Team Illidan. Yeah. Well, we fight. got. They all, know that, they all know that fight in Ice Crown was bullshit. Okay. There <laughs> is some Illidan art. Ooh. Yeah, there is some phenomenal Illidan Ooh. stuff. There is some Illidan art. Yeah, I'm I saw so some excited. Illidan shoes on Twitter. Some, uh, re- and I was just like, I hope nobody thinks I would like these because I'm over. Please. I'm over. I'm over wearing Illidan stuff. But I even found some potential like Lucio art, which is like rare. Like no one seems to have any Lucio art, um, so I'm trying to get some of that. Um, yeah, Lucio. He's so powerful, I love him. <laughs> yeah, Lucio, Torbjorn, Roadhog, um, are very underrepresented, and I, I wish there was more the... Zarya art. Let's see. Yeah, so we definitely. I, I'm looking at a piece of Lucio art right now. We have some Pharah. We got a lot of Genji. We got some Junkrat, Lucio... Uh, I love how mix. I just said, like, oh, we don't have as much Overwatch this year. And he's like, well, we have all of these Overwatch games. Well, I just added... What the I, fuck, dude? I literally added four new Overwatch pieces today. Aha, uh-huh, of course. So, I mean, there is that. Uh, but no, I mean, a lot... Mercy, I think, has been, like... Mercy and Genji, I think, are the two artist favorites, like... That I've seen. They there's been a lot of Mercy and Genji stuff. Just from personal observation. Uh, but no, so I'm really excited about how the art gallery is turning out, and it's the first year that I've gotten to work on it. So, um, other than putting it. mounting it, other than mounting it, which I won't get I'll into. Never say that again. What mounting? Yes. Look, mounting the art was painful last year. I was up like all night in order to get it done. I still feel really bad about that. Anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so coming for Storm, yeah, Kickstarter's taking their sweet time paying us, and so it's limited our ability to do certain things, but uh, things are progressing. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, we got, let's move on to. This is the king of bacon talking about bacon. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause button. Never mind. It's not yelled out. Continue. Mm-hmm. All right. Of course it's not yelled out. Ray. Ray and I, I discussed. We I, just Ray and I talked about this. So it's it's a it's a company uh, it, from my hometown. Well, not really my hometown because I was originally born in New Jersey, but then I moved down to Boca Raton, Florida. But it's but down in Boca Raton, Florida, and it's these like two ladies who. Um, have a business called Bacon Boxes, and they make like bacon bouquets. So it's similar to edible arrangements, but it's bacon. So I just thought it was. When Sarah yeah. says we talked about this, I just said I don't care what we do, and I look at it as an opportunity to do the show image that takes time. So <laughs> that's the that that was my thing going into this. So if you think that I actually said, let me look at this bacon topic and see if I care. No, I don't care. So, but yeah, look, if you're looking for edible arrangements and it involves bacon instead, there you go. You got something. And it's my old yeah, stomping grounds. You, you bet you do. Uh, all right. So let's dig into E3. There's a whole bunch of uh, links. So I, I'll probably just drop a few links of the Nintendo E3 stuff that we have here. By no means is this all of it. I'm sure you can find more of it out there on the internet, but we're just going to cover So, for Nintendo, they announced Xenoblade Chronicles 2. They've said Metroid Prime 4 is in development. Finally. Rocket League is apparently coming to Switch. Oh, and they're bringing a six-year-old Skyrim game. Have you seen the memes about that? About Skyrim and how it's just like Bethesda is just never going to make another game again. <laughs> Skyrim so the, the, for the next 20 years. The best I saw was there was a theory that everyone in Bethesda took their checks and they never come into the office and they've given the janitor instructions on how to release <laughs> Skyrim like every other year <laughs> for them. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I would believe it. <laughs> uh, so oh, I, sorry, I should probably pay attention to this stuff. <laughs> uh, E3. Yeah, you have to be an active participant in this podcast. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, we'll get into that later. Speaking, yeah. speaking. Uh, so, I, so I told everyone when the Switch came out that I refused to buy a Switch until, Met, uh, until Nintendo brought out a new Metroid game. And it had to be good. 
So Metroid Prime 4 is in, in development. There's no release date associated with it, so we'll see. But I'm holding fast to my rule. Mm -hmm. There's still no announcement of Smash, so I'll, I mean... Um, but they did announce a new Pokemon RPG, apparently, for it uh, as well. I'm just laughing at the... Uh, it says, and Skyrim, and then it says, with the Zelda gear. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, is this Nintendo's way of, of trying to get, like, cross uh, things, like... Kind of like Blizzard does with like. Oh, you hand. know. <laughs> it's like mods that people made for Skyrim, but now Bethesda's trying to. So I'm gonna go on a side trip, but apparently Bethesda during their E3 presentation made an announcement that they were gonna start selling mods for their games, and apparently the fan base like. Yeah, they're not happy. <laughs> went nope. ballistic, especially nope. because they showed a picture of a crab with armor. As one of the mods, and that was actually made by somebody. Yeah. So yeah, people like lost it on Bethesda. Yeah. Not the best E three for them, uh, but also Nintendo we're announced. We're talking about them, so it's not terrible. Well, we're not talking about them positively. We do. We ever talk about anything? But one of us is always talking shit about a video game company. Hey, hey, but Metroid, <laughs> Metroid is coming out on my three DS, so I'm very excited about that. So that's coming out in September. I am excited. I love me some Metroid. It's one of my all-time favorite games. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, Sony. Okay, so Sony's E3 was, for the most part, very strange. Their conference was... It was odd. So here's the thing. Sony clearly is the winner when it comes to console sales so far this generation. So far, right? Uh, they've claimed to sell, have sold 60 million things. And then they got up on stage. <laughs> and they had one guy up there. And all they showed was game trailers with no gameplay. For like 50 minutes straight. And they're like, look, look at all these games that, that are being made for our system. Most of them are multi-console. But we're going to say that they're... We're just going to show you... For our presentation. Oh, in the last 10 minutes, we're going to show you 10 minutes of the new Spider-Man gameplay. And then we're going to, say, have a nice E3. First of all, they should never spend any time on a companion game for a movie for, as a part of a marketing it's campaign. It's not. It's because... not. This is not related to the Spider-Man movie really? coming out. Really? really? That, that's, not, that's surprising. I know. Um, but, so... There Isn't are... the one Insomniac's working on? I think so, yeah. This, so, so depressing. This, this, <laughs> this, their whole conference was just so weird. It's almost like, it's like, we won, we don't give a shit, just buy our games, and... <laughs> My job. <laughs> fuck off. I mean, they also yeah. announced, they also announced Skyrim for, for the PlayStation VR. I was like, really? Dude, I'm saying, I'm saying Skyrim is, yeah, it's not, but they talked about The Last of Us too, right? No! Everyone flipped Wait, out. Sony did. Who did no. Last of Us then? I remember watching... Last of Us 2, from what I understand... Last years? Oh my god. Last yeah, of Us maybe. 2 was not announced. And also, uh, Square, the only thing that they announced was a Final Fantasy XV virtual reality fishing game. Oh no, wait a minute. They did Kingdom Hearts 3. Now wait a minute. For E3? Did, did, Hold I up. don't think, oh, Sony, E3, Kingdom Hearts, did, yeah, oh, maybe they did, but this goes back to them just doing games that have already been previously announced, they didn't, like, announce, like, anything, like, brand new that, like, shocked anyone, no, but they did they did show the new God of War trailer. So like all these games though, that they're coming out with, like don't come out until 2018. It's like, hey, here's a whole bunch of games, and you don't get any of these for the holidays. So that's, fuck well, that's, off. That's how that's how the, this is why I don't like. I, I pay attention to E3 one year because it sounded neat, and I was like, man, I can talk about stuff on the show. I just don't like it's too much stuff in the future. Like. Like, is that game going to be out? When they say it's going to be out in 2018, is that true? Because half the games that say they're going to be released are, like, delayed to shit. Yes. Final Fantasy VII Remake. 
Um, Did that ever come out? No. I will not. fucking it's slit square. your throat. Square? Are you kidding me? I don't know. I this, I don't pay attention, so I always heard, heard about it. So I guess that it, yeah. Um. <laughs> and then they also kind of announced that Destiny Two has some exclusive content, including gear like a like a unique weapon, a unique map for PvP, like a unique strike. When they said, okay, so the link that it said there said levels. It had unique, le- or how was it? Exclusive levels, yeah. So I was just like, does that mean that they get to be like level 310 when we get to be level 300? No, no, apparently that's it's... That's what I was thinking, I was like, if that's the case, I'm not buying the game. No, apparently <laughs> it's an exclusive PvP map, it's an exclusive strike, which I guess yeah. is like a dungeon yeah, or something. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, like, they had exclusive stuff the last time, I never, I didn't even know about it till like, I was halfway already into the game, I'm just like, well, I'm playing on Xbox anyways, so it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Um, all right, so then finally, let's uh, we'll, we'll find, finish this off with Microsoft's conference, um, which uh, honestly was kind of interesting. So, one, we all knew that they were going to announce uh, Project Scorpio, which is now called the Xbox One X, which is their like upgraded Xbox One. It's like so ultra fucking stupid. How many, t- how many, like, okay, yep. this was this was pretty, I mean. PlayStation upgraded there to the PS Pro in order to support the PlayStation VR. Like, the console makers, they're going to do, like, shorter and slightly increased development cycles, I think. But, um, so, it's interesting that Microsoft is releasing this. But the I think the coolest part about this is they said that if you already own a game that they are upgrading to to work better on the Xbox One X. So like Gears of War 4, they said. So if you already own Gears of War 4 on your Xbox One and you get an Xbox One X, you automatically get the upgraded version of Gears of War 4 for free. You don't need to buy it. And apparently there's like 40 games like that uh, that are going to get like an upgraded treatment to work like in 4K and HDR and all that other stuff. Um, So one, that's cool that people don't have to spend extra money. The other cool part that I thought... I liked about this is that all your accessories for the Xbox One automatically work for the Xbox One X. So you don't have to buy like new controllers or anything like that. They all just work. And all the backwards compatibility stuff that they've worked on with the Xbox One works automatically with the Xbox One X too. And they're going to add uh, original Xbox games to backwards compatibility, which I think is really cool. Because uh, there were some really fun games on the original Xbox, I remember. Um, but you don't have to spend five hundred dollars to use old shit on a new thing, like yeah. That's so that's what, this is why I don't care about these. Yeah, things. so that's the thing. So the console is like five hundred dollars. I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really need it. Yeah. At this point. But my sponsorship. So, but at the same, <laughs> but at the same time, like I said, like they could have easily said, "Oh, well, here we've upgraded the console, and we're gonna give all these upgraded games that you have to pay for, and you have to buy all new controllers." And but they didn't do that, so I think that was kind of cool on Microsoft, and I think they probably had to do this to say, like, "Look, we listened to you. We realized that our console was a little bit less powered than the PS4 was, and that meant a lot to you guys. So we've." We're, we're doing right by this. But at the same time, this is for more hardcore console gamers, I think. I think that's yeah, the market for it right speak, now. They're not speaking to us. Yeah. Uh, other things that they announced, Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, once again, uh, Skyrim VR. Fallout 4 is going to come to VR. Mm. Age of Empires is getting remade to work on modern PCs. A lot of people were really excited about that. I've never played one of those. I feel like it's like Civilization, right? Let's see. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of. It's kind of a cross between like Civilization and like a like a like a Warcraft or Command and Conquer type thing. Uh, Then you got uh, Anthem. So this is this was Bioware's new IP that looks like Destiny. (laughs) Oh yeah. But it's but it's that. third person, not first person. Uh, let's see, they're doing a Minecraft HD update, and apparently, Minecraft on any platform is going to work together with any again. Like, oh my god, 
<laughs> All what? I hear... Uh, okay, so, like, when that game launched and everybody was excited about it, that would have been fantastic. Like, all this stuff. But, like, they're announcing this shit for game, a game that's been out for fucking how long now? Like, nope. People have grown... Uh... You say that, but, dude, there's so many friggin' kids that I know, are obsessed I know. with Minecraft. It's I used to, I, I, I used to love that game. And, like... It's just like, you not, loved like, it before everybody else did. No, no, no. I just played the shit out of it, so I didn't really it, like. I, it played it out. Trust me. It wasn't. It's not. It's not that. I just hate when stuff, convenient stuff, comes like comes later on when I when I miss out on it. I'm totally being selfish, but I don't know. Whatever. Um. <laughs> now, the one thing that I'm excited about is. The Sega Genesis flashback. So apparently uh, they another are... one of this fucking nonsense. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking so the cool thing about this one is though, so it's gonna have eighty five games built in. Eighty five uh, games. One of them being a game called like <laughs> Ping. It's actually Pong, but they couldn't get the rights to it, and it's just <laughs> fucking two shitty things going like this. Like so, that's but, one of the games. Though I guarantee it's one of the, those shitty fucking shit games. But they're gonna have a cartridge count. slot where you could put in your old Sega games and play them. At least there's a use for it then. <laughs> How cool! Like I think that is like one of the coolest parts. Is it, gonna, like, is it gonna play the NHL '94 that I can never get to work that I own? Possibly. Not. Possibly. No, it's a cartridge thing. I'm just complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> So I just, angry. dude, like, I, how many times have we talked about a flashback system thing, and it has a bunch of games, we go through the list, we see, like, three or well, four. Really, we've talked about the Nintendo one, and the Nintendo one was... Yeah, did they have, like, a Sega one, off. too, or was I looking on Amazon and just assuming... Oh, no, there was a, a Sega one, but apparently this one is gonna, like, they're they're fixing a whole bunch of stuff with the old one. I, dude, I specifically game. remember yelling at my microphone when I was looking at that Sega Genesis thing that I found on Amazon... It might have just been when I thought we were doing the show some night, but we weren't. That's mm. what I was. That's what I'm thinking. Because I remember being really upset reading the list. Anyways, sorry. sorry. Well, if you want to be that's upset, okay. what do you think, Zia? Say like a flashback well, system. Well, um, yay nay. I, I'm looking at the list right now. The 85 games. I haven't seen the list yet. I just assume it's trash. <laughs> it's not. I, it's not anything. Like, I don't know. I just feel like this thing exists already. I, I mean, like, you know what I mean? I, I feel like this has already been done by... First of all, have you ever heard of Bubbles Bubbles Master? Do you guys know what Bubbles Master see, is? See, see, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's... Okay, so it's either a Bubble Bobble, Bubble Bobble ripoff, which, unless it has the original Bubble Bobble music, I am not interested, because I like that game. <laughs> it also offers such riveting games, like... Curling 2010. Ooh! Wait for the Sega. I'm pretty what sure I played that? that. I'm pretty sure I played. Chess. That. 85 Sega Genesis and SMS Game Gear favorites. Okay. All right. Well. Right. I'm looking at the correct thing. Yes. I'm not looking I, at the wrong I thing. Just I just don't see the list of games yet. That's From what I'm. That's what I was, I was trying to see. Well, what game did you ask about NHL, Sh right? I, well, no, I asked if they had Shadow... I always ask if they have Shadowrun on there, because that's the best game ever. Um, no. Shadow see. Dancer? The Secret of Shadow. Close, close. Okay, yes, I have seen this. I did see this on Amazon. I was complaining about it. So, yes, this is the one with the trash games. Uh, Plumbing Contest? Yes. Where are you seeing this game. list of games? Dude, hold up, hold up. Let me link it to you. Unless this is, like... The wrong link. This is an at games flyer, and I'm looking at it. 2017 Sega Genesis flashback at games. Oh, I can't click on that link, or else I. I'm, I'm, oh, so, I, uh, and, and the reason I always have beef with these flashback consoles is that time and again I buy these. I've stopped doing it because I've been disappointed every time, but. Back in the day when Sonic and Knuckles came out, it had a flip top, and you could take a cartridge. You could take Sonic Two, Sonic uh, Three, and I feel like there's another one I'm missing there. But like, top, pop it into the top of Sonic and Knuckles, and then it would connect Sonic Three and Sonic and Knuckles. So you would play this humongous game. It was fantastic. And other than those having the physical two cartridges, I've never found a re-release on Steam, this thing that 
plays like that. And I realize this makes no sense unless you've played that combination at the same time. But And, like, this doesn't do that. It doesn't talk about that anyway. It does have Victor. I, 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 didn't, even, I didn't even... I don't even remember that. I remember being... Like, I owned a Sega. And I remember <laughs> playing Sonic and Knuckles. I don't remember any of that stuff happening, though. Yeah, it's mind-blowing. Yeah, you, the cartridge... The cartridge... You peeled it back, and you connected... And it and it would take Knuckles, and you could play with Knuckles in Sonic Three, and then at the end of Sonic Three, when you beat it, it immediately just went into Sonic and Knuckles instead of ending credits, whatever. You oh. had two big games linked together, and it made it easier when you were trying to collect all the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> so yeah, it was so fucking cool, and they've just never done that. Wow, this is gonna be the longest episode ever. People so are like going off in the chat room about this like Sega Genesis thing. They're talking about are Sonic really? Two I, and Sonic I mean, and I, Knuckles. Well, I want to point out that they have a game on here called Jack's P. Now, no, where do you see this? It's in the, it's like literally Jack's like, P P E A, as yeah, in like P-A. eating a P, not him peeing, which is kind of funny. Uh, Maze uh, 2010. Are you uh, fucking and serious? They have a game called. They have a game called. Uh, <laughs> Cross the road, which I'm guessing is Frogger. It has to be. So this is the kind of shit. See, I think this shit's garbage. You know what I mean? Like, excuse me. This is like this is okay. This is like if you opened up a thing of Oreos right here and you got fucking Hydrox. That's what it is. Hey, they were first. You know that, right? I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. It's all about notoriety at this point, dude. Dude, so Garrick, the Lion King game was baller. I don't care what you know, anyone how says. Do you, how do people? Oh, the Lion King game was yeah. so hard. I've beaten it. Yeah. And I did not use cheat codes. Fucking Aladdin was hard too. All those so like all those fucking Disney games on the Sega were hard. <laughs> There's a game called Warehouse Keeper. I feel like you're looking at a bad list. <laughs> like I, hey, Dave. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're looking at the thing, dude. Just at games. It's, a, it's, a PD, it's a PDF of like whatever advertisement they might have in a fucking magazine at this point. At games brand listing. Dude, they have a game called they... Spike. Like it's pro. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Hangman. Come on. All right. I, 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 All right. So I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. So I found the PDF of at games. I'm looking they at have some checker. They have a game called Checker and a game called Chess. Just in case you wanted to know, <laughs> Checker. They couldn't. They couldn't get the rights to Checkers. <laughs> they could Checker and Chess. Well, can you imagine if they would have had to call it Checker got, and Chi? Like, but they, 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 they got Golden Axe one, two, and three. They got Mortal Kombat two, yes. three. Yes, but that's just that's, it. That like, you you're have, like, into it. Games of like, oh, I remember that. It, it gives you that like boat, that nostalgia boat. Or <gasps> Vector oh. Man and Vector Man Two. That's cool. See, you're falling prey to it. We mean, I'm falling fall prey to it. Because you're like, oh, look at those ten games that I like. Like, oh, the God, fact that I can plug in my, the fact that I can plug in my own cartridges and play them, is <laughs> awesome. Cart- you can do yes. that. Yes. Like, oh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. You can do that now. They have systems that let you do that. I know. Now. And you can also plug in a Super Nintendo cartridge on top of it. Well, I know. Retro con things. Just go buy one of those, dude. Why would you They are them? hard no. to find. They are usually sold out. I will buy you one and send it to you. I will By find way, one what, on Amazon. What, what game could Flicky be? Like Flicky. L-F-L-I-C-K-Y. Oh, it's stuff with Sonic. Flickies are in Sonic. Oh. Okay. I mean, unless it's something else, which is possible, but you say Flicky's... I are picture Flicky's you would control this, and you just go like this at stuff. Flicky? Like, literally? Yes. Things. Dude, Sarah, I'm, you... I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm just thinking that they're the most basic games to fill out a list of 85, because somebody said, here's the poster. 85 games. Come up with them. <laughs> how many games were actually on the Sega? Um, I, well, I can, th- I can tell you how, like, I've heard of maybe... Maybe at most half of these games, and I'm like, a lot of them being columns, columns two, Golden Axe one two three, Vector Man one two, Sonic twenty seven. <laughs> like, there's a ton of them, you know. So yeah, I, I don't know. I just I'm not gonna buy it because it's not Shadowrun. <laughs> well, it looks like it had hundreds of games. So I was thinking like, oh, what if the eighty five game? No, they had hundreds of games, and yeah, I mean. You can spend your money, everyone, as you like. 
but I'm just putting it out in the world that you supporting this means they're going to keep doing it. And this is not something that should be supported. Like, they do a sequel with a, with two games, Shadowrun and General Chaos. I'll buy oh, it. Oh, and then it'll be worth it? Yes, because those are the only two games I would ever play. If so, this yeah. if this is only like 40 or $50, I feel it's worth it. Oh, then it's going to be 100 If it's like 100 bucks, no. No, it's not going to be 100 bucks. That's your, probably the price point for all of these flashback systems are usually about 40 50 bucks. And I am telling you, I will slap you in the dick if you buy this. Go do not buy this. Go buy the one that you can connect other cartridges to. Why? But the, 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 the problem with that is, like, I don't have all those cartridges. But you just said that you want to get... I have some! I have some, but I don't have all those games and okay. cartridges anymore. What do you think I have sitting over here? Oh, yeah, so let me just, Nintendo, yeah, let me just walk over to your house and let me, like, borrow a whole bunch yeah. of... I That's would be happy to mail school with us. I don't know She's if I would She's going to set up a game fly. Look, we, look, we know your, your track record with mailing things. Pardon me. I fucking Damn, did all the fulfillment last year for the Kickstarter. Get at me, bitch. Ooh, Come on, ooh, bring it. Ooh, ooh. I did all the Kickstarter fulfillment. No one helped me except Mark for like a couple things. Get um. Where is it? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't talking about the fulfillment Kickstarter stuff. Okay, that other one was not my fucking fault. All right, I can't help it that somebody stole the bourbon from my package to you, along with. All the other cool shit I did. Listen, this is too soon. Too soon. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Destiny Two. You can now pre-order it for PC on uh, Blizzard's site. Oh, you can. Yep. So it is now available. You can pre-order it. It is sixty dollars for the standard edition, eighty-nine ninety-nine for the game plus the expansion pass bundle, or a hundred dollars, which gets you the game, the expansion pass, and some exclusive stuff. I'd probably go with the second one, just getting the expansion pass, because I usually the like, extra stuff isn't some unless it's like a specific purple and green shader that I that is appeasing to my purple and green obsession, then maybe, maybe. So the digital, like the, the is you get a legendary sword, you get a legendary player emote, and you get yeah, a Cabal like, Empire yeah. themed emblem. Eh. Emblems don't mean anything to me. Here does emotes. Anywho. So anyway, so you can pre-order that now in the Blizzard store. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, let's see, Here's the Storm just released. Uh, Maltheo plus a whole bunch of skins today. Uh, won't go into detail, but it they do have Tychus and a Speedo. So. They got a whole surf thing. So they got like a surfboard mm -hmm. mount and, yep, Tychus and, there's Tychus and a Speedo. Uh, I cannot let this go. For 65 bucks right now, I am looking at a retro bit, the, the console that has the three original cartridge slots in it and original ports for, like, your controllers on Amazon. It's available. Go buy that. I was looking at the Retron 5. I've been eyeballing that. Oh. This is the Retron re Retro Trio. Uh, three in one system. Anyway, yeah. anyhow, sorry, I'm done. No, okay, okay. <laughs> um, the the only thing I will say, going back to the stage, is that it saves me from having to hunt down some of those games in cartridge form. If I were to get like a Retron Five or something. I now, mean, yeah. now, the, now the nice the nice thing though about the the Sega Genesis thing there that um, versus. I didn't see a lot of the games that I have in cartridge forms, like Streets of Rage, Super Street Fighter 2, those types of things. <laughs> Sorry. What are you laughing at? Um, I just did a... <laughs> I just did a... I just pulled a Sare, uh, where I got on Amazon and I found something really funny, and I don't know if anybody else is going to find it funny. Um, uh, usually taking the risk is... Not worth it, so do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so do it. Don't, don't so do it. So there's these on Amazon. There are concealable NES flasks that hold oh, yeah. alcohol. So oh, you say, lame. yeah, like you knew about this. Yes, so, yeah, they're on Thinking too. Dude, so lame. <laughs> they're amazing. But like the game names are different. So instead of like Contra, there's Contraband, like um, Drunk. 
drunk hunt kega man kid licorice <laughs> i think th- I All think right, there's King like Icarus a. Is good. I think there's <laughs> like. I think there's like a Legend of Zelda one too. Yeah, it's just the Legend of Drink. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend of Zima, come on. The what is Zima? I've never had it. It's oh, good. by the way, they're re-releasing Zima this year. I saw like an article about it. <laughs> I heard that, but I haven't seen. It. I, guess, I, I, I remember, Zima was like the like one of the first like. Not like I don't know what the column was like drinks that it's... weren't. It's like a it's like a flavored malt beverage. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah. So cool. I would like it. Yeah, yes. It was, like, I think it was like the first one I ever saw. I remember seeing it as a kid and be like, oh, that's not a beer. It's kind of like, I think it was like lemon lime flavored. <laughs> there you go. What's yeah. the difference between that and like a Smirnoff ice? That not Zima much. Was, I th- I feel Zima, like Zima was first. Zima was yeah. first. That's it. Oh. Yeah. And so it's just like, just like what, what did what did what did Seraph say was first? Hydrox fucking yeah. doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't <laughs> matter anymore. Zima doesn't matter anymore. Smirnoff made it better. <laughs> All right. So Warcraft patch seven point two point five release, which means Tomb of Sargeras, the next raid opens next week on the twentieth. So have at it, people. And also uh, it includes a time walking uh, raid for Black Temple, so you can go back in time and. Go into Black Temple, Ray. You little Illidan fanboy. Uh, uh, do I have to be max level? Uh, no, it scales you down to level 70. Oh, well. There, go, there goes my excuse to not do it then. <laughs> uh, and then, finally, <laughs> the thing that like I saw a lot of rage about is... So, Overwatch released these dance emotes with their anniversary event. Well, apparently, the dance emotes are going went away with the anniversary going away so yeah. people like spent gold to get these emotes and now they can't use them anymore yes what yeah you like to you like to take things away when yeah so up. apparently the dances were anniversary only and um i didn't say that when you bought it like you can't you can't use this after the anniversary are you sure you want to buy this that is like no. a waste of. It is. It's a waste of gold. And they're going to cost more. Lot, like I mean, when I was playing Overwatch, I was saving up my currency to buy the things that you can only get for a certain amount of time, so you can use them when that time is up. And I guess that would be a problem. This is me trying to have a point. It's... So. <laughs> Didn't, like, this take time to make? Yeah. So they wasted time. Well, so you could use them during the anniversary event. But, but how once... long is it going on for? I think like the anniversary... Week. Isn't the... Is... When does the anniversary event end? Well, it was... Or did it end already? <sighs> sure. I think Why it might have ended. Why would you not make these available all the time and get money from people right like yeah i think and they're really good and they pay people to do this for that's stupid well i mean they did the same they they did the same like they did a really good job with the halloween event and like it was a, a pve event and everything it was really fun and then you just couldn't do it after halloween and i like never got past like the second difficulty like because i just didn't have time like it's that i like they should have this stuff available all the time, but it's just this whole holiday exclusive content to get people to play every so often. So they spend, you know, so they hit their quota. Like I, I would, I wouldn't doubt it if these things happen in a certain yeah. quarterly time to make uh, sure they're fucking profit. So, go. so hold on. So actually, so the chat room is saying you can still use them. You just can't unlock them anymore. Well, that's, that's how it's been since they started. Okay. The first, like, so, I mean, event. if that's the case, okay, right, I get it. Yeah, that's that's normal. Like, okay. that's yeah. That makes more sense. To where me. it's only available at this time, so you better play and you better spend money now. Yeah. That makes so sense to me. okay, so that's that's okay if you could still use the dance emotes now that the anniversary event is over. Like this article makes it sound like that they went away and you can't use them anymore. Word. Uh, so all right, all right, nothing to see here. Move along. We just wasted ten minutes of our time. Well, fine. Let's get into some fast then. 
Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, 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 Saddam Hussein of Iraq. All right, uh, Ray. Do you okay, so what you had? <laughs> yes, movies shouldn't exist anymore. They're just a fucking waste of time. Go to a fucking theater, two hours. Uh, it might be good. Like, like how how shitty have movies been recently? Like honestly, and how awesome has television been recently? Like, they're making a Dark Tower movie that looks fucking god awful at this point. Like, I, it what? looks good. It looks good if you, like, want to see a movie that looks interesting. But when you're somebody like me, you're just like, I don't know if I want to see this. But then you hear, then you hear that they're making a, a miniseries on TV. I don't know what, what channel or whatever. I, I, it's not HBO or, like, Showtime, I don't think. But they're doing a Wizard and Glass TV show. Like, what? that. Yeah. See? There you go. And now, just think. Like, I'm not that far into Wizard and Glass, so anything you're about to say... No, 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 But I'm just saying, like, now just think, if they said, hey, we're gonna start, like, you know how Game of Thrones was popular? We're gonna do Dark Tower. The Dark of Towers. Like They should have done the same exact they thing with Dark Tower. It would in, be fantastic. In fact, in, in fact, in fact, every book should become a series, and no book should ever be made into a movie ever again. <laughs> I'm going on the extreme of this because you can't fucking tell a good story on in a movie because you everybody has to hit these points. Hey, we gotta have we gotta have this to hit this audience. We gotta have this to hit this audience. We gotta make this money back. That those three things don't fucking help anything for a viewer, um, unless you're the people that are like, oh, what's this? The Dark Tower. Let's go see it. it looks. I like towers. That sounds fun. <laughs> like. I, if you're marketing, I like per- towers. If you're marketing to that type of person, I don't want to see the movie. And this, the, the, that's what the Dark Tower is. I feel like it's doing. Like I, I've thought about this for a while. So, am I? Will I see it? Probably because I feel like I have to at this point. It's annoying that I'm going to have to see it. Since Zia demanded that I do. So, possible I'll showtime. I like towers. You have to. Yeah, right. it is. It is now. All right. I love that seeing is. movies. I find it relaxing because see, my, I my kid's not with me. <laughs> See, the, here's the thing. I don't have a. I don't have. I don't. I don't have a kid. Like, the, Dude, I also. I also no. realize that. Like, that's. This is the thing. There are parents that just want to take their kids to a thing that they're gonna look at for two hours and not. And they can just. They, they can probably take a nap. You can take a nap in a theater and your kid just be like, "Yes, this is fantastic." I'm not suggesting that. It sounds like bad parenting. Um, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm a parent and I am guilty of. Sorry, Dave. When people walk in with their kids to movies, I always have this, like, please, God, don't sit behind me. Please don't sit near me. Please don't sit near me. The, the, the just like, kicking and the antsiness. Yeah. Yes, it's like I have the knack of always being, and your kids are not like this. His face, he has this, this incredulous look on his face, like, bitch, come at me. Yeah. I, dude, it, like. Look, I make it a point when I take my kids to movies, we go to an early show where right. we are not bothering anybody. People don't do that. Yeah, I know. But, but <laughs> you like, are nice. These people are not nice. Like I, I'm starting to know parents that are my age now, and, and doing these things and hearing about it. I'm just like, this is fucking why I stopped going to theaters, and now I know why. And it makes me want to not want to go even more because I know that that, that this whole. It's, I mean, it's all it's all it's like a, this movie business, and like I have friends that work in it, so I don't want to see it fail, obviously. Mm-hmm. But selfishly, I don't want the Dark Tower movie to exist. I want it to be a Game of Thrones style TV show that is drawn out because that is the best way to take a story from a book and make it into live action or whatever you're going to do. Having two hours. Okay, so Green Lantern, for example, has a fantastic ending in the movie that makes me want to have want there to be another one. But it didn't do well, so there's not going to be. That sucks. Like that. That that's the. That, I think that was when movies stopped being fun for me. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm, I'm just realizing that. Holy shit. Ugh. Sorry. Yeah, so I don't think I don't like movies, and don't be surprised after The Dark Tower if I don't go see another one for a very long time. <laughs> okay. But that's why, you know, I had to have a fop. I had to have something, so, you know. No, you don't usually have a fop, so. I know I don't, so I feel like I had to have one. Anyways, what about you guys? Zia? 
I'm good. I feel like I got it all out through the show. <laughs> Well, I'm going to piggyback off of what we were talking about, Sony. Like, fuck you, Sony and Square. Like, the lack of shit that you guys brought at E3. Like, where the fuck was any announcement of Final Fantasy VII, like, this remake? Like, I've been waiting for this since you announced it, like, two years ago. And, like, here we are, still waiting. It's been delayed, like... In fact, they announced it probably three or four years ago that they were redoing this. And I've been waiting they, ever fucking since. They were working on Final Fantasy XV for, like, ten years. This is such they, they bullshit. Just, yeah. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts probably longer, I think, at this point. Like, they they said it was going to come out Christmas of last year. Obviously, that didn't happen. Like, I have no faith it's coming out this year. Like, I probably won't see it until, like, 2019. Get your fucking shit together. Like, it's so fucking irritating. Like, what are you all doing? <sighs> you know what's funny? Is I was just saying, this is why I don't care about E3 is <laughs> because it's just what you just did. You're just like, when the fuck is this piece of shit coming out, they said? Like, when? They just, they said they're gonna do something and they get all this praise for it. Oh, look at me. Oh, man, we'll release it whenever well, we feel like. Well, at the same time, like, to, to, to your exact point, Ray, like, Nintendo got so much praise because they're, oh, look, they're making Metroid 4. The only thing that they did was put the number 4 up on a screen and then they shifted it over to the right and they wrote down Metroid Prime. And that was it. Like, And then they put the so little, the little that's subtitle that's says, In Development. But it's like, oh! you were excited about Metroid? You were I'm excited like, oh, about I'm Metroid on my 3DS. That. But I said I won't buy a Switch until they release a Metroid on the Switch that is good. So, I'm still holding... I said I was still holding fast to that. I am not getting a Switch until I know what this release date is. And I start, like, hearing some reviews about this game. Because... Oh. I'm going to make a proclamation about something right now. <laughs> and it's like saying that the Cavs are going to win. If the Cavs win, I'll quit my job or whatever someone did that you said earlier. Um, if, if Nintendo Switch could shadow run out, I'll buy it. How about that? How about that, Nintendo? All right. That's all you have my business. All right. Get, get shadow run, but not the new Fair one, enough. the old one. Anyways. I'm getting more pissed off because Joe B just like posted something about how like Kingdom Hearts three will launch within the next three years along with Final Fantasy seven remake. Next three years. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Next three years, I might be in a different country, living uh, there for how, years. Yeah. How about you all can go <laughs> fuck yourselves? How about that? Fucking turd burglars. Like I was excited about Destiny two. When did it, when did that get announced? Like like recently? Like there's like oh yeah, we're gonna nail something down. And like for the most part, I feel confident it's gonna happen when it, they say it's going to. Yeah. Well, I don't need E3 to tell me. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at, then. Alright, let's see. Zia, do you like Ewan McGregor? Yeah, he's cute. Okay. <laughs> I like how like, no, not that he's a good actor. That's all he's... I cared about, and she answered my question. Alright. Fucking okay, young Obi-Wan. <laughs> hey, don't give away Blonde my Rouge. Photoshop. <laughs> Alright, uh, Joby called, <laughs> so let, let's play that. Alright. Hi, Hey guys, it's Joby. So I call up. Got the kids in tow. We're all just chilling, having fun. My daughter's trying to get her placements done, but it's not doing the greatest. But she's having fun. Mercy, man. Eh, she'll get there. Just so I say hey. And uh, I know last time my call was kind of a downer, but the point being is, is uh, things are going good, and uh, you know, you guys doing good, and. Everybody's doing good, I guess, in the sun. Even though things go bad, you can still be good. Man, it is freaking crazy right now with all this stuff going on. But you know what? You all do you. I'll do me. I just thought I'd share a little love from the family. I'll check you later. Bye. What, the, no truer words when you say, y'all do you. Do I nod in agreement? Because I'm like, I'm trying. Furiously I masturbating. No, I'm doing the uh, Photoshop and I'm trying to listen. So I'm doing me, Joe B. You do you, Ray. I think Joe B is accustomed to it by now. He just kind of uh, knows. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm doing this. This Photoshop is glorious. In fact, why doesn't someone ever comment me on them, huh? <laughs> Maybe feel like I should do these better. All right. And uh, Toasty says, "Fall to Revlo being dead. I want to gamble." Toasty. What's that? I'm working on it. I'm working on... Our uh, bot that does the gambling. I, Toasty, stop caring about that. Toasty, I, I may have... <laughs> I have a solution, potentially. I'm, I'm, I'm looking more into it. 
I have a, I have a better solution than Sarah. <laughs> You're not gonna like it. All right, let's get in the haikus. <laughs> Big titties and ass. She wants to be inside you. Haikus from Zia. Did something major just change with the show notes, or am I crazy? No. <laughs> did, I, did, I hit, did I hit something? I was looking at a particularly long segment, and it's gone. No, we're on haikus. There wasn't a listener email? No. <laughs> okay. See, I thought I saw it too, just so you know. So I'm really confused as well. We're on high course. Okay. Let's go. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, we're good. Sounds we're good. good. We're good. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Oh, so much bitching. We are some entitled fucks. Except for Rathus. What? I'm the most... In- <laughs> fucking... Like, You're the one who said about- you don't watch E3. Oh, I'm just saying I'm entitled because I'm like mooching off my parents and just bitching about shit in, like, in, a, in an attic. <laughs> true. Actually, yeah. That's why I was like nodding my head um... like, fuck yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I want to go back and just want to say quick props to DitchCon for officially funding this week. Yay. Good job, guys. So for those of you who don't well know, DitchCon, done. it's the BlizzCon pre-party on Wednesday night. The best party ever. Like, for real. Minus the one that I threw at my house pre-Massive Land. <laughs> that was a pretty killer party. Somebody, that was so much fun. Somebody joked about throwing a, par- a party w- uh, at my house while my parents were gone and live-streaming it, and I'm like, I've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> we legitimately live-streamed We, just, we live-streamed house. it on Ustream. I know. It's fucking ridiculous. I was just thinking about that. I was like, man, that's... Yeah, that was fun. All right, uh, Ray. Where can people find you? Uh, Twitter. I think I. T- oh yeah, because finals were going on, so I was tweeting more. I think I get like fifty percent of my tweeting done during the NBA playoffs, like for this for the year, I should say. Every year, yeah. So Rayfist, R A Y F Y S T. Don't uh, have me. You, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Seraphis. You can find me at ITSXIA, and you can find our awesome producer person man, Mr. Underscore Hasu. Man, we should just fucking, like, pre-record this part. It's it's the same every time, isn't it? It's the same thing we do every night, Rapist. <laughs> you act like All I'm... Right. Like- this is I'm I'm in total Photoshop mode now. We could this is stuff we I can could repeat. pre-record this. Oh we sweet! Should I in an accent then. Oh yeah, and maybe Boy. you and I. Or you can you can find the show at the <laughs> See, I just made it better for you. <laughs> dot net, where you can find links to our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. You can also drop us a line at. The Sundering Podcast at gmail dot com. <laughs> podcast. Oh, call us at three two three Sunder O. <laughs> you just went from like br- from yeah. angry like drunk British to like Southern <laughs> like oh, <great. laughs> hobo. That's three two three <laughs> seven eight six. Sorry, oh, my cat made fuck me. Ah, uh, three two three three two three seven eight six. Three three seven zero. We're a proud member of D twenty Catalyst, part of the D twenty. Just go to Texas. And our intro is courtesy of Boxing Fox. It's boxing Fox. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna be right Rick and Morty now. Fucking Boxing Fox. I'm gonna be Rick and Morty. Are you ready? All right. Oh. Rick and Thanks everyone for submitting a fourth and a prop <laughs> and questions to our show tonight. So fuck, <laughs> download us, invite us into your home, your ears, your head, which is what it's like. You know? Next time we podcast from Towers, because we love Towers. <laughs> Shh.
shit. I could have made a fucking better episode. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. I love the 20. <laughs>